Welcome back, everyone, to more Avernum. All right. Well, should probably start fucking around with some tool use here. I think I'm going to stick to this build for now. We got mighty blows. We got good health. Let's go ahead and do improved strength. I think we're going to stick clot with our tool use. And we'll make... We'll make Ronstadt get some arcane lore here just to spread the love. Let's go with improved intelligence. Now we can open this door and get our first wisdom crystal. Ooh, and a studded belt, sexy. We will follow the same structure that we did in the last game with Wisdom Crystals. We will keep them until we have at least four, and if we're close to leveling, we'll use them. You're surrounded by heaps of skulls. Some belong to deceased members of the tribe. Others came from their victims. As you slowly make your way forward, some of the rubble begins to shift. Suddenly, several creatures lurch up out of the piles of skulls. They shake off stones and grit as they walk towards you. Fucking undead! Hey, a piercing crystal. The spell is level 1 barriers. That's good to us for now because we do not have the barrier spell. Gonna make sure we get all the uh, all the hidden shit. <clears throat> I think 
have some more we need to explore over here. Ooh, some Nephil Warriors. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Among the ratty stained scrolls in the lectern, you find one of some interest. It contains a detailed description of some sort of powerful priestly ritual. You can improve your knowledge of the spell and shackle mind here. You concentrate and try to memorize it. With work, you gain more proficiency in that spell. Alright. Unshackle mind. Level 1. We were able to learn it because we got our priestical skill up high enough. That's a great spell to get this early, especially. Roby robes. This box is full of Nephil trophies and objects of worship. Candles carved, fragments of bone, interesting rocks, nothing of obvious value. There is one interesting thing. A torn and tattered banner. It's pretty shredded, but you think it depicts a dragon standing guard over a bridge. There's not much left of it, so it's pretty light. You put it in your pack. Tattered banner. That is a quest item. A tattered Avernite banner stolen from your people by raiders. This dishonor is waiting to be fully avenged. That's probably the lost banner quest. We can return this to Commander Anford in Fort Draco. Oh, we got a difficulty 10 door here. Maybe a way around? I don't know. If not, we'll have to notate that and come back later. Okay, we can just walk walk around apparently. No, no, it is its own little room. Never mind, never mind. I spoke too soon. All right. Ooh. I do see a button here. We have a Spiritus Haloron. We're gonna need to fuck him up. Oh, never mind. Well, lame blow. Let's, uh, let's minor heal on one blow. He's looking a little beat up. And... We need to replace this with haste. And just make sure we keep our cloak active, which we are not doing. That motherfucker retreated. because I already cast it, my bad. Ah! Damn it. Fuck out of my way. Oh, 
What? He fucked up. You're killing me, Smalls. Never mind. <laughs> I got excited thinking that might open the door. Grounded boots, energy resistance. Plus one dex, so we can drop these. Okay. Still no way in there. Metallic noise echoes from the gates to the northeast. You notice the you notice that the wall here has an oddly large colored chunk of stone sticking out. From, well, thanks for telling me there's a button. Kind of a secret way in. All right, well, let's make note that we need to come back for this door here. I wish we could have a notepad in the game. But that's okay. I like keeping my little notepad outside. Alright, we will need this mortar and pestle eventually for a quest item, so we'll hang on to that. We still need to find an hourglass. And I think we're done here. I thought wrong. Oh, that's right. I came in here and got my ass kicked the other time.
This guy's hit hard as fuck. That doesn't help. We're gonna have to get really lucky to uh, do anything here. Don't know if we can confuse him, but let's try. And they're probably gonna be immune to this. No, they're not, okay. Ah, no way to raise the dead either. All right, first things first, let's get everyone healthy. I guess let's put that on. Go ahead and chug a potion. We can win this, we just got to get a little lucky. <laughs> Fuck it, when else are we going to use this shit? talking Ah, oh, it's another door I can't get through. Fucking sweet titties. How can you not fucking reach? Oh, there's like a... Oh man, we got lucky. Okay, and then poison. But yeah, unfortunately, this is uh, going to be a second door that we cannot open until we get tool use. Let me go ahead and make note of that. All right, now we are done here for now. Double check something in here. Wow. It's all right. Yeah, we got the button in here, I believe. 
All right, good. I think we got everything in there as well. Let's go to return to Fort Draco, turn in this banner. Crispy Crisper. I think we got quests to all kinds of people that, in this town. Let's see. Metal bars. Oh yeah, we slayed the chieftain too. So we need to go to Ganrick and tell Captain Vidikin. Commander Alfred reverently takes the tattered banner. At last, our honor is restored. As a reward, you receive a fine iron short sword from the Fort Draco arm uh, Armory. Okay. Uh, it's just the regular fucking iron short sword. Snarf, snarf. All right, Claw, you're carrying herbs. Uh, you're going to be Crystal Man. Ron Stock. Lug Lug just going to hang on to the meat. That's going into the cell pile. Because I like... I like having my little goblin cleaver. And Ron Stock's not much for poking people with swords. Okay. Need to find out who trains in tool use. Vidikin, where's that fucker? There she is. Captain Vidikin waits impatiently to see what else you have to say. Speak up, too much what to do. We rescued one of your soldiers. Name was Aram. We actually get a little bit of XP for that, so you want to make sure you mention that. It has been done. We have slain the Nephrim chief. All right, we get more experience, a shield ring, some coinage, reputation, and a quest, questicle off the quest book. Anything else you need? Well, normally I would tell you to return to Silva for more orders. However, since the magic barriers appeared, you can't get back there. So until they're gone, explore. If you can find a way to destroy the barriers blocking the roads, please do so. Yeah, we gotta get to Formello. We kinda know all that. All right, metal bars, marriage proposal. Bandits? Southeast. We got so many places to explore at this point. You find an abandoned construction site. 
someone started to build some stone baths to take advantage of the natural hot springs here. Then work stopped. You would guess that the war with the Empire ended someone's entrepreneurial endeavors. I think that's something we got started in the first game. Can't remember the guy's name, but he sent us over there to uh, clear the area so he could begin his hot bath. Hot bath entrepreneurship. How are you gonna go and miss? Ow! Fine, the fighters will do all the work. I don't know if these guys are good or bad. Seems a little shady. They saw me and ran. They're luring me. You're suddenly set upon by a group of bandits. Hold their leader shouts. You must pay the toll. 25 coins or we must do battle. They draw their weapons to meet you in battle. They really didn't want to fight you, but now that you've forced the issue, they won't back down. If they're captured, it means certain execution. Alright, well there's a shitload of them, so good luck to us. And I'm fucking ensnared. Ooh, this might be more than uh, we we want to deal with right now. Oh. Yep. Yeah, let's get a little bit stronger before we pursue that area. That looks like the same area. Oh, Motrax is lair. Yeah, we're not going to deal with that yet. We've got the bandits running around here. All right. You walk down a remote tunnel. As you pick your way over the rubble, you see a band of humans rushing towards you. They are fleeing from a band of Nephilim chasing them. The humans are extremely outnumbered. Whoa. Who's this bad bitch? Is haste of everybody. Good job. Nephil Warriors and Deep Doo Doo. Deep Doo Doo. The mage wounded but still alive greets you. Thank you, friends. I'm Tarek, mage lieutenant of the army of Avenum. You introduce yourselves in return and tell them of your position in the army. What well, I wish you luck in your endeavors. I'm going to head for safety now. Before I go, here's something in return. He hands you a flask. Don't worry, it's standard issue. Don't see them much anymore, though. Good luck. They leave. You look at the flask. It says healing on the side in large gold letters. Yay! Healing potion. Fantastic. All right. You see a few large piles of compost. Interestingly, they seem to be moving around slowly. When you get close, the piles start suddenly start to move much faster. They are, in fact, slimy slimes.
Hmm. Maybe we should try to take those bandits out. Let's, uh... Get our curse going here. I think we gotta go this way to get to Formello anyways. Yep. If you remember the last game, Fort Dry... I mean, it's pretty much the same map as it was in the first game. So we know Formello's down here to the southeast. Um, actually, probably far down this way, because Motrax's lair... I don't know. Now I'm, I can't remember if things are shifted a little bit here. The huge cavern is filled with thick, choking steam from several large fumaroles. Sulfur steam pumped up from the miles below you assaults your senses. The floor is covered with faint tracks from giant lizard strong claws. This area has only became volcanically active two or three years ago. Avernum is not geologically stable. It is occasionally struck by cave quakes, which create interesting features like this overnight. We've got some kind of uh, lizard cave over there. I guess let's investigate. At first you think these are giant lizards like those found in farms and pulling merchant caravans. When they get closer, you realize they're a bit larger. They also emit small puffs of flame from their nose when they exit. Good old fire lizards. Don't look to be too strong. I don't think this is going to work. We need to get you another type of attack spell, Ronstock. Alright, this is Lizard Lair. Yeah, we're not going to do this yet. But I wanted to get it marked on our map. I took off our cloak, son of a bitch. Oh, there's a, you can see a secret cache here. I think we will try to just save as much as we can of those till the next video. We also see a place here where we're going to need the Orb of Thralni to get across. So yeah, they definitely changed the map up, which is good, because it would have been kind of, kind of redundant if it was the same exact map to the T. It's familiar, which I like. Formella would be to the south there. Let's see if we can go find these bandits, though. If not, we can go to Formello, hopefully do some more quests there, and then return. Get some revenge. The tunnel stretches upward for some ways. After a time, you think it might be leading to the surface. However, you eventually come to a place where countless tons of fallen rock block the passage. Tools left behind provide evidence that someone tried to burrow out through here. But they soon gave up. The passage ahead is very narrow and winding. Ahead you hear the very faint echoes of angry human voices. The accents are unfamiliar to you. You can't see them. If you get too close to the campsite, you may have a hard time avoiding them. You walk over the rise and come into a clear view of the campsite, and then you find yourselves face to face with a group of surprised soldiers. They aren't pale, and their armor has crown insignia. They're empire soldiers, who have somehow infiltrated deep within Avernite lands, and they attack. And we are probably fucked. Especially if we can't hit. Ah! 
Go for a daze here. The thugs aren't too strong. And I guess being days fucks them up even more. Alright, let's get that mage done. They weren't very well armed. You're searching encampment. Most of their meager equipment was wrecked in the battle, but you do find enough stuff to be worth about 100 gold in barter. You also find a scroll. It's real paper from the surface, dyed a faint red shade. The scroll has a title which says Red Pass. Describes the bearer as worthy to pass lower security empire checkpoints. You keep it. Alright. Well... I'm assuming that's a questicle item. We've been found out by some goblins. There's the bandits. We uh, probably want to heal up. Well, we did heal. We might have enough magic to beat them. This doesn't look like it's the same amount. You can't hit water if you fell on a fucking boat. Fuck, can't even take out one with all four of our guys. Of course, they're just spear shocking. Immobilize both of my characters. Fantastic. That's all thugs and archers. Can't do shit. I don't think that's the right one. giving us magic points back. We need to go to a city, city, town, town. Uh, this is them.
initiative is too slow. Yeah, this is all straight up bandits. We're gonna have to save that for later, okay? They bad bandits. Meet up with a patrol of Avernum guards. They're marching up and down this section of roads watching for Nephilim bands and infiltrating Empire soldiers. Dull work. You met them briefly on the way to Fort Ganrick, so they don't interrogate you. They look they look very grim. You ask them if they've heard of any news. Their captain says the dragon Motrax. His lair is near here. We've heard tell that he has been slain. We hope desperately this isn't true. With that, they take their leave, continuing their tedious watch of the area's roads. Someone's built a stone hut here in this little cavern. It sits by a pool of water and a modern mushroom garden. We knock at the door. The door is answered by a small manic man who introduces himself. Vale the Scrivener. He lives in isolation here, working on his scrolls and magical supplies. After asking questions for a while about going on in the outside world, he asks if you'd like to see his wares. Yay. Veil shop. Okay, we got this area up here. Never gonna pay him. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. We have no chance of beating those guys, especially without a resurrection scroll. I guess let's head to Formello for now. I came across some more random goblins and enough one. Bye-bye, pussycat.
platoon of guards watches this gateway, making sure that no bandits can cause trouble in the rich farmlands of Formella. When they see you, they move to question you, then they recognize you. With no further comment, they immediately wait for you to pass. Sometimes notoriety has its distinct benefits. Yeah, what are we? We're anonymous at Reputation 6. This is a huge cavern with high arching ceilings. The glowing fungus in the ceiling is brighter here than in most places, revealing many small farms with grazing lizards and neat rows of edible mushrooms. You're near Formella, one of the largest cities in Avernum. There's Formello. Maybe we should save Formello for the next video because it is a big place. We can wander around a little bit more. These tunnels are narrow. The floor is wildly uneven. The ceiling is low. Despite the abundance of mushrooms, humans don't seem to have settled here. A quick investigation reveals why. The mushrooms are very tenacious and of a poison variety. got the fungal clearing here. You cross a narrow isthmus between two dark lakes. It is a glade of strange fungal trees and bushes of Avernum. Remote tinged with green from the light above and strangely lovely. Some of the odd fungal growths around you look like they can be picked. If you know enough about cave lore, you can extract useful herbs. And they will grow back over time. Maybe we do need to get our cave lore up there. Alright. Maybe the higher the cave lore is, the more shit you find. Probably just gonna find these couple basic herbs. This looks creepy. Although these tunnels aren't fit for human occupation, they aren't useless. Rows of carns line the walls. Several generations of Formelians have found their final rest here. Nothing of value is buried with them, though. Goblins loot these crypts with regularity. Fucking goblins! You walk around the corner and stumble into a band of mixed undead. They are shuffling very slowly to the east. Someone raised them and launched them in the direction to cause mischief on Formello. Undead are simple-minded creatures. When they sense you, they turn to attack. Holy buttfuck. Quite a bit of... Can't afford to be missing. Come on, what the fuck? Fire and zombies are a perfect mixture. Trying to get the numbers down over here, you know what I'm saying?
All right, we saved Formello from impending doom. Who did that? Whoa, yeah, we don't want to fuck with no ogres right now. They will crush the titties out of us. Traveling merchants. They have three carts drawn by defanged giant lizards, which contain plenty of goods useful to the farms in this area. They hail you and offer goods which will aid you in your travels. Looking at the rusty tools and crude weapons in their wagons, you have your doubts. Maybe there's something good buried in one of these wagons. Probably not, though. Well, there's a cash down there, as you can see. Save it there. I'm wondering if that message will pop back up. You suspect there's something hidden here, but you don't have enough cable to discover it. I don't even see a cache there. They completely hid it behind that stalagmite. Sneaky bastards. The western approach to Formello is watched by this small group of exhausted soldiers. They greet you and warn you to be careful to the west. They say there's a band of Nephilim in a fort there, who's creating undead and sending them here. If it wasn't for me, says their leader, who wears the traditional garb of a priest, this patrol would have been torn apart weeks ago. Her troops not in agreement. They move on. She has a really deep voice. She's been taking uh, testosterone, so... We definitely don't want to go past Formello. Let us enter the great town. We can do a quick circumnavigation of the city. Oh, check out the cool new barriers. Upgrade to the graphics. Let's go ahead and save and let's try out our our level one-er. Oh yeah! The bookshelf contains a collection of religious tomes. They span many faiths, from the mundane to bizarre, active to ancient, intrigued you read for a while. The time you spend is not wasted. In one of the older tomes, you find a long, draining ritual for blessing an area, purging it of evil spirits and foul magics. You now know the ritual of sanctification. You can improve your knowledge of the spell sanctification ritual here. You concentrate and try to memorize it. All right, we got a new spell spell for... Uh, Clot. Sanctification Ritual. That's a new spell. It's like a special spell. It's not even in our spell book. In combat blesses and cures your group outside of combat. Sanctifies nearby evil altars. Okay. In town mode, not in combat, destroys nearby altars. That's interesting. Uh, how fucking, how the hell do I cast it is the question. I mean, I know I can assign it to a quick slot, but isn't there a way to... 
Oh, here it is. I learned it, but I need to be priest spell spell eleven. Interesting. So why did it why did it even let me read it? Okay. Well I guess we gotta get our priest skill up there first. Hopefully that was worth using my crystal. Maybe maybe we should just wait. We can't use the spell for a long time. I'm going to save my crystal. That's kind of hard to miss. We know it's there. Some herb herbs. You enter the city of Formello, northernmost of six major cities of Avernum. The streets bustle with activity. Merchants, artisans, and farmers walk about, going about the business of providing Avernites with things that keep them alive. There is, however, a noticeable sense of tension in the air. There is the war, of course, always on everyone's mind. No doubt people are also very worried about the barriers which have cut them off from the rest of Avernum. In addition, Formello has recently been struck with a cave quake. There are cracks in many of the walls, and the damage to the walkways has not yet been fully repaired. Some guards here. Ooh, some pear farm. Yum yum. Tie balls hanging out here. We got free metal bars. Uh, we'll take note of the pylon. The phrase carved in the base is "Amble Kaya." We got some free meal sacks. Lovely, lovely. Uh, I never did put on my ring here. Yum yum! Oh, you. Doug Lug, sometimes he'll walk around and keep the shinies to himself. He's very reluctant to give up anything. Oh shit, as you walk into an open area in front of the city hall, Formello is hit with a cave quake. As screams echo through the city, you see a massive spire of stone rise out of the ground. The front wall of the city hall crumbles and collapses. As the quake fades, there's a blinding flash of light over the stone spire. Floating above it, you see a brightly glowing apparition. It is a humanoid, very tall and thin, but too substantial for you to make out anything else. To see more, you will need to move closer. As you slowly approach the stone outcropping and the screaming of... The townspeople dies down, replaced by horrified silence. The apparition begins to speak. Do not be alarmed, humans. I am Bon Irno of the Vanati people. I cannot stay here for long. I await your envoy. The shade stands motionless, waiting for someone to get close enough to talk to it. Nobody is willing. And that'll wrap it up for this video, folks. Stay tuned for more Avenum Crystal fucking scowls. Uh, souls, not scows, souls. All right, see you soon.